If people weren't looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077 before, they sure as hell are now given the flood of positive impressions that came out of E3 2018. I watched the private demo myself, and if you've been keeping up with my Cyberpunk updates, then you'll know how utterly mind-blowing I thought the game looked. I went in there anticipating that there was no way this presentation would live up to my expectations, but I was glad to have been proven wrong and then some. They finally showed members of the press some gameplay, they proved to us that the game does exist and that it's up and running in some form, but what we really want to know is when we can finally throw our money at the screen and get our hands on the full experience. Well, it's already been hinted that we might have to wait a while longer, but that's further affirmed by new information provided by CD Projekt Red. The following information comes from Polish website Bankier, who recently had an opportunity to sit down and chat with CD Projekt Red CEO Adam Kaczynski. The article is in Polish, but website PC Gamer patched together a translation using Google Translate which does seem to do an adequate job. When asked about how representative the demo is of the final product in terms of how far along the game is, Adam stated that what was up and running at E3 2018 wasn't even alpha, it was actually a pre-alpha build of the game. It was also emphasized that what was seen in the demo is not representative of the final quality of the game, which is part of the reason why CD Projekt Red resorted to keeping the presentation private. When they blow the lid off of this game to the rest of the world, they want to ensure that the game is as close to how the final build will look and play. On top of all that, CD Projekt Red CFO Piotr Nielubowicz, I butcher that, apologies, added further insight with the following statement. This is the most polished part of the game we have now, prepared in some sense to show to people outside the company. From there, they moved on to discuss how the studio would be handling marketing when they're ready to show gameplay to the public, at which point they talked about how the marketing budget for Cyberpunk 2077 would be even bigger than Witcher 3's, and that they would be going all out once they are ready, noting that they've been saving up cash in preparation for the impending big marketing push. However, one thing is abundantly clear, it might be a while before we get to that point. Not only is the game in pre-alpha stage, apparently Kaczynski's description of the game's current state isn't really all that well defined. As a matter of fact, during IGN's live show when asked about how big we can expect Cyberpunk 2077's world to be compared to Witcher 3's, CD Projekt Red answered that they don't really know yet, as the game isn't far enough along for the studio to be able to give a solid answer. We do know that the game's world will be comprised of six distinct districts, that there is a framework there they have to work with, but what the scale of the world will be in totality is still something that's ever-changing as they continue to put the game together. And when developers can't even answer how big the world will be in the final game, you know that there's still a lot of work left to be done. As a matter of fact, we might be looking at years worth of waiting, with the most commonly predicted window being sometime in 2020. A few more years of waiting is certainly what Mike Pondsmith seemed to be hinting at when I interviewed him at E3 2018. When I asked him to give the fans who are anticipating this game one message, he said this. I waited 30 years to get this, it was worth it. You guys can wait a few more years. It will be worth it. You can wait a few more years, he says, as if to suggest we won't be getting the game by 2019, and even 2020 is sort of up in the air. Lending further credence to all this is the fact that my own sources have basically been telling me since last year that the game won't be out until at least 2020. This was information I received as part of my extensive video from last year detailing the less than ideal working conditions at CD Projekt Red expressed by a number of ex-developers who reached out to me and who I've 100% confirmed to be the real deal. As part of that video, I relayed that based on what I was told by multiple ex-developers, the long development cycle had in large part to do with inefficient planning, documentation, use of time, and execution that led to numerous reboots and delays. One of those sources also happened to convey to me that the game would end up being primarily a first-person shooter RPG since as far back as November 2017, and I released a video conveying this information on January 2018, information which we now know to be true. Suffice to say that my confirmed sources have been spot on about Cyberpunk 2077 thus far, including what they have been telling me for months about how far off the game is still from release and how much work there is still left to be done. 
It does seem as though development on the game has finally kicked up a notch and that significant progress has been made, and assuming that what I saw at E3 2018 is within the ballpark of how the final version of the game will look and play like, I'm telling you this could be genre defining. It looked that good and it spoke volumes to the amount of talent that there is at the studio. Given the immense potential I saw from the private demo, I say to CD Projekt Red that they should take all the time they need to make this game as perfect as it can be. But if they can do so while working out some of the kinks and inefficiencies that hindered Cyberpunk 2077's first few years of development, then hey, everyone wins. Developers can work happier, game development can move a lot faster and smoothly, the studio can get their game out sooner, and gamers won't have to wait as long. With that said, in any day of the week, I would much rather that a game like this be delayed as many times as it needs than it be rushed to release. Fortunately, CD Projekt Red is a studio that's uniquely positioned to be able to create games on their own terms, and I greatly admire that regardless of the trials and tribulations that may abound throughout the development of such a massively ambitious project. They're using their prowess, resources, and position to fully commit themselves towards only releasing the game when it's ready. I fully appreciate their unyielding devotion towards quality and towards consumer-friendly practices above scummy, financially lucrative business practices. And ultimately, one thing that I've never been able to deny about CD Projekt Red is that their heart is in the right place which can't be said about many other high-profile developers. So keep tracking on, CD Projekt Red. I'll wait as long as it takes for you to release what could very well be the definitive interactive cyberpunk experience. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.